Penal Black folks. And so basically we get what we've seen in the past and you can see the times and it, let's go up there so you know that they're, you know, and I never fake Bakey. We already have seen where we had some PSYOP or private, uh, any organization, make your mind go wild. Number one thing, power, money, and control. Remember that. Okay. So we do know that we got fed cake bake BS before. Now we have seen this before and this stuff just basically straight out shoots the truth because basically it's star cluster action. Okay. So we maybe get a glimpse down here on Earth of what only they can probably get with a Hubble telescope and so forth and so, so, so on. You do know that it's a star because we know that stars look like diamonds and you get a diamond shape here. But you also get the idea that there must be some kind of a moon or a planet because you get roundish here, and roundish there, roundish there. And then I'm not going to be your eyes for you so you can see roundish is, you know, round spheres around certain but and then remember that we don't know because this could be just huge small or whatever but it's flopping around in a bunch of bunch of stars somewhere out in space or something dark that's blocking out other stars and then some stars get through little gaps here <coughs> i mean either something's in the way i mean no matter what so great shot here and basically and i'll just back step and i think we've got I have any I'm, I try not to just basically you'll always see the times and the clocks not to sit around and try to narrate but because your eyes are going to see with the clock so there you go and we've seen this before come over and I like I've said everybody knows my electrical knowledge and then the idea that there is generators back here and the idea that they charge up generate uh, they use this crane for lots of different things I have them in spine on to see exactly but we do know that there's generators back here at the back of the station because there are exhaust pipes up here okay uh, heaters, so forth and so on. And then they have this, whether they're doing the studies on wind power down there or whether they're using it for getting electricity, back up this, that, or whatever, who knows. But we have seen this tar cluster hit, and I can't be guaranteed for sure, but it's pretty much when you start, you know, anybody who is a scientist, and then if you, you, any of the cops that are on here that are watching, I mean, when stuff starts adding up, it's like, well, well, it's, we're at least going to go talk to this guy because, hey, look, you know, I mean, this star cluster, because there you go. I mean, it's hit this. We've seen it hit this windmill, and we've also seen it hit the back of the Nehemiah station where the generators are at uh, around, I think, around Thanksgiving I had that shot. So anybody that's watched the videos for a long time, and do not trust the tickers, okay, because the truth in data and science out there does not want to be it does want to be discovered. You always discover it. There's interesting ways. Bino Black, shade tree mechanic electrician, uh, no college degree, damn straight. Who needs to waste money on blue bloods? They got their own money. They don't need mine. See, so anyway, we got this interesting stuff there, and then I'll just hit, I'm going to hit back one more time so you understand that bam, then, and then think it'll hit and there you go and then I'm just gonna hit start and we'll let it play and see what we get for action down there now what you're gonna see is what because I, I already kind of played this a little bit is you'll see the Sun burn through and then you'll see at we're gonna get close to it because we know that this isn't the Sun okay I mean that could be the Sun going away it doesn't matter they get 23 24 hours of sail, sunlight down there but here we come with what uh, we know of been watching up and that was it underneath the Nehemiah station there okay and then floppity floppity round and then you get this action. There, this should be the sun more than likely there. Okay, but before that, let me back it up again. Well, there you go. I mean, that's what comes up, and that's what we've seen trailing the sun out on the ocean a lot. And there's probably a lot of sailors out there that have seen that. When the sun goes by, probably down north or up. I mean, down south or maybe at North Pole, uh, that you get that that's following the sun, and it's basically a star cluster that's between. Because uh, you can see the time. I'm not going to mess with it right now. Just let it. There, there's that. What we know that's not the sun, right there. Super giants action. And then here comes the sun. Okay. So that that plopped out underneath the tr uh, the Nehemiah station, and that's why they have it up on stilts and hydraulics, so they can go up higher. And there you go. So as it plays, you get even a couple more uh, frame shots. Okay. And even the dude goes out and takes a look and so forth. So. That's what a lot of sailors, or what we've been seeing off a lot of the ships, uh, like the British ship and stuff like that that we get, and also the Australian one, when you'd see the sun uh, setting around 6 o'clock or something, something p.m., that you would see, and you'll end up seeing it again, because here we will end up being, because this plays pretty fast. And then 
we will get that star cluster. I, would, I wasn't paying attention when I first started the video, but there you go, 1058. Okay, so it's getting to be a different time in the day. It's actually, yeah, that's military time. So I mean, watch it one more time here, and basically you're going to see here comes super giant stuff. Even earlier than what I was talking about underneath the deal, there's still sun coming up too. You see, and then then we'll have the sun coming up here, what we know to be the sun here. There you go, more than likely. And now we will get that at 10 a.m. in the morning, almost 11. That star cluster, which we would normally see following the sun in the p.m. hour, they would glisten down on the ocean. Okay, when the sun was setting, you'd see that. So that's interesting movement on that from around. And like the sun in the supergiants is a massive area, star clusters and so forth. Okay. So, all right, let's see what else we can get. Now, here's a good example of how they're playing around. Now, you see on the playing bar of where the movie should be. Now, you know that I always put this at the end of my movies, folks. And they are basically, we are somewhere, some in, I don't apologize to any religious organization because there could be some one little vein out there or something. There is big power, money, and control that is pulling BS on the idea of scientific fact and truth. Because this is what's getting, no matter what, whether it's government psyop, this, that, or whatever, care us off, doesn't matter. It's getting played with, okay? Anybody can go out and hack away until they get caught legally. And the government hires all the hacks. They put them in jail for a little bit, and then they put them to work. And they usually aren't in jail when they're working because they need to keep them comfortable and happy to hack for them, okay? Okay, so as you see, I'll hit the play, and why was that showing at that part of the video, Okay? And there will be all kinds of excuses. But what I was a bit getting upset about and wanted to show is that when you get towards some technical details of showing really some truth in this part of the video, it gets locked up on not the picture I'm wanting and explaining and showing you that the idea that I'm showing you, I went back to what we had seen by the sun and by Venus, and it wasn't showing. And as you see, the player will lock up and so forth and so on. And then you'll end up having to upload a new player and stuff like that. I haven't had to do that for a long time. Okay, so there is a lot of truth, and it's a lot of truth that's getting masked out, okay? A lot of truth that's getting masked out because it locks up on this shot here where I was just showing this for a second, and then I went ahead and went over and started showing the sun shot and Venus again, and they lock up on this. So, and as you see, you get somewhat of a truthful number, Possibly. Hell, that could be 916,000. Who knows? Do not believe this crap down here. They want it brushed to the corners. They don't want truth and science and data getting out for every blipping just normal folks. You are just ants to them. Okay? Power, money, and control. You're just ants. Okay? You're just sheep. Everybody that's been in the military gets that sheep feeling. This guy, you just, hey, you're just, yeah, you were just a piece of meat. Okay? Everybody is just a subject. You just get used for what they want out of you. Okay? If you know and you don't have a piece of paper, you don't get approval from some higher up, you are just, and that's not true because you have constitutional rights. And if you know right from wrong, black and white ink, your constitutional rights should be upheld all the time, 24-7, infinite, okay? And that's why all the smoke screening for votes and scaring the hell out of people in D.C. And it's just a bunch of ass menagerie, folks. Power, money, and control. Brainwash this, brainwash that. So even why I'm trying to show you the idea that you've seen, if you watch the video, let me see if I hit a play again and get it to lock good here, and you can see that the idea that th those CMEs are starting to look like massive pieces of lightning, folks. Your eyes don't lie to you, okay? Shazam. Okay, now, with stuff that gets bled into things that you watch, I'm thinking all the way back to the 70s that the idea that more than likely... They may have had looks, and as you see, we lock up on the player, that more than likely they had looks because they put stuff in stuff in out of Hollywood. Hollywood is a good, even though Hollywood hates rats, the idea that Hollywood's a good rat for putting stuff on screen so you end up seeing something, don't ever forget something, okay? So then there's tons of astrologers and stuff like that, Hollywood, so forth, so on, and then basically... So every time I touch up there, it locks. I guess that's probably paused, but I don't care. But what I want you to see is the idea that 
because it sure seems like they're trying to not let anybody see that we know that the more than likely this was not Venus. And if it is, it's an amazing shot to be so goddamn large because you can see how the sun is and where the cameras are at and everything. So, and a lot of people look because it's like, you know what? It's truth. And that's what Venus is really about. 100%, 1,000% of the time, truth. And people can't stand it. Okay? So, anyway, I'm not even sure if they fluffed me, but you can see there, lightning. Okay, now we know it's electrical. We know it's just a CME. We know that it's just a CME. Everybody's going to go, it's just a CME, dumbass. But the thing is, it's they're looking very different than what they've looked before in the past. Okay, and then those massive ones were very different than what. So maybe this is what they're normally to look at way before I've ever been watching Soho. Okay, but no matter what, massive crazy stuff going on up there all over space. Okay. And understand one thing too, we are getting a little light, even though this 4.2 is somewhat a little high, but we've seen way massive 7 point something up in Alaska, okay? That was somewhat one of our record high quakes last year, okay? Okay, not saying that it's calming down in Alaska, but what I'm saying is, is you know that we've moved from 2.7s and way lower, from like 2.3 and so forth, and we are sitting up around 3.4 and 3.0, and we've seen that 6.0 a while back and everything like that, Okay. And as you can see, West Coast, yes, and it's commonplace. We know. I've lived there for a hell of a long time, okay? Still do. Static. Yep. Live all over the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Now, basically, there you go with a lot of heavy action because that's just a little bit more than 12 days, I think, okay? Not, maybe not even 12 days, not even a week, maybe, just a little bit more than a week. I've never really paid attention to exactly how long the quake thing is, but, so anything, uh, that's what we've been seeing, we're going to get something, we're going to end up getting something more, or, okay, then it's okay, then fine, it's just nothing, okay, right, to nothing, okay, but from here on, then you better start watching, you better start paying attention to degrees, because the idea that we are up higher, just one notch, because we're not seeing too much. I think 2.7 is the lightest we've seen lately. Okay, now I'm sure they're going to be, well, there's been a one point, yeah, there's a one point something every day in western United States, California, so forth and so on, okay? But 2.7 is the lightest we've seen lately, okay? 2.5. So pay attention. Anybody that hangs out at Itchy or Dutch, now this is a guy over in New Zealand, I believe, and if I'm wrong on that, I don't really care because basically I don't want his site to get sniped, crapped on. So basically he went and found, and you'll be able to freeze if you go back here and read this as I scroll down it slowly from the front side so you can read it big enough. But anyway, this guy went and found a couple detectors, and he's over in, like I say, I believe this is New Zealand. You can read the writing. It doesn't really matter at this point in time. So let me pop back up so you see this graph, because basically they're spiking way over 100 over there also. So we are at that fringe, okay, even over there. Now, yes, more than likely they could be, but the attraction from what has happened in Russia a long time ago, okay, because... Radiation is going to attract to everything where it's been mined at before, where there's been bomb tests, where there's been any radioactive, whether, where you have a nuke plant. Radioactivity will magnetize to radioactivity. So when the stuff that does leak off away from Japan goes all over the world, it will attract to radiate and then also high altitude areas. Okay, so let's pop this up. Hang on. And as you can see, they've been over 100. And as you can see, there's got to be at least 20 between here and there. So then the idea that they're getting very close to the 130 even over there. And let's just, I'll show you this other graph, and then you can basically free this. But the basically, that's just the, the different dimensions of it. And there you go. Okay, and there you go. And let me get an address on this. Yep, there you go. So then let's go to U.S. And remember, they took the volume box off, so that tells you the truth that it's actually there. And you can only trust the graphs, but then you have to also be careful with the idea that they could be messing with it. But the idea that you can see that the idea that it was basically tamper-proof equipment to begin with. So you can see that they have to tamper to mess, to try to show anything other than the truth. Okay? So you can freeze through all this, and I'm just giving you a local update. And you can see the address up there to the left. This guy's been a, doing a good job of keeping it up. So as you can see, it's tamper-proof stuff, folks. So when you see that, the idea they don't want you to see the truth. Okay? Well, there you go. We'll just keep cruising on down here through the rest of the time in the video. And you can go back and whatever area you're in.
person in sunglasses keeps lips wet.